Hello, hello. Azumi here again. Um, been a while since I did one of these, but let's do EX Low today. Um, first in my party is going to be Princess and Mara. Alright. Second is going to be Aldra. And right in the middle is going to be Star Saint Noah, which for me is only four star, but it works pretty, pretty good. Um, fourth is Catalyst Verosa. Uh, keep in mind that all the multi-hit weapons, those are very important. Things like this, 10 times 15, that's 15 hits. Um, this is 12, uh, 12 hits, and then last but not least, Vampire Lord Evil Eye. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so, uh... First up, I want to give my friend in the game, Hart, a little bit of credit for helping me with this. Um, he answered a couple of my questions and uh, pretty much using the same team he does. So yeah, this was a tough one without the, the lucky, but it's definitely doable. It just takes a little bit of RNG and persistence. But anyway, uh, let's get to low. His action skill does earth attack damage, and that gives you to the front row and gives you a thirty. It gives a thirty percent bonus damage up against beast. Um, his auto skill hits all players with earth attack damage and does stone chain for three turns. That hits humans, Therians, and beast. It also hits the front row with earth attack damage and slow for three turns that only affects elves in the front row. And then we have the back row which is earth attack damage and stop to Aesir for three turns that are in the back row. So avoid using Aesir in the back row and avoid using elves in the front row. They get slowed but slow is kind of negligible. And Stone Chain 2 hits my um, Vampire Lord Evil Eye, but it it, bar it it does stop her, but barely. And then he has the um, Abyss Count Leaf, and we'll talk about that. Alright, next we got the Armor Dude, Leaf Armor, who uh, casts Stone Skin on himself for three turns, and stone skin on low for three turns and also hits two random enemies with earth attack damage and then wind chain for one turn to whoever whatever the random enemies that he hits are and then last is going to be the leaf hawk which on the first hp bar hits three enemies with the highest magic attack with earth attack damage and corrupt for three turns and on the second and third HP bar, it also gives itself Earth Ring. And then um, to uh, HP recovery to low. The lower the current HP, the higher the amount recovered. So on the second and third HP bar, you kind of need to get rid of that Hawk as quick as possible. Because it's going to heal itself and it's going to heal low. And then it also hits the three enemies with the highest magic attack with earth attack and corrupt. The same as it did on the first HP bar. So yeah, on the second and third HP bar, get rid of that hawk. Alright, so let's talk about this shield. This shield that Low puts up takes a hundred hits for it to dissipate. So pretty much what you um, if you hit it with anything other than fire and neutral damage, then it resets the counter back to 100. So you have to use fire and neutral or you're just bashing your head against the wall. Um, using Sinmara will decrease that count by 30 every time she uses her skill. And also, if you got the lucky Liberator Catalina, will reduce that count by 70. So that's pretty much what it is. You have to use a lot of fire and neutral multi-hit weapons to bring this shield down. 
and then hope that he just doesn't keep putting it right back up because sometimes that happens. You'll knock it down two seconds later, it's right back. And then use things that... Um, now, you can use other element weapons, but it has to be like ignore barrier or you're just, like I said, resetting the counter. And you really don't want to reset that back to 100 that because that takes quite a bit of hits unless you have Catalina. And I'm doing this without that lucky, so... And it looks like we're almost done here. Alright, alright. Check the damage, and there we go. Have a good day.